Okay, everyone, welcome back to the School of Light and to Image Breakdown tonight, or I say tonight because it's getting dark outside, but this is a very, very, very special episode for me. We have Trevor Williams with us who is in Japan. Where in Japan, Trevor? Okayama. So it's best described as between Hiroshima and Osaka, ah, Western okay. Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Japan is a, I'm a Kiwi from New Zealand, and I forget sometimes that they're, they're pretty much the same size. It's... um. Mm, yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, a, it's a tiny place with a lot of people. And um, look, we're going we're gonna to break into it. I'm going to introduce you yeah. um, because the reason this is a special episode is Trevor was the founder and started the Flickr group Light Junkies. And we're going to refer to that quite a bit during this episode, but we're all, I'm going to do a longer episode on Light Junkies. Now, if you are a light painter, if you've been light painting for a while, you probably know what light junkies is. Now, if you are new to the school of light, I am going to tell you something that is incredible. <laughs> I looked back, mate, and the first image on light junkies was in April 26, 2008. And that was you. Uh, and you <laughs> created that image. But light junkies is a place on this place called Flickr. Now, this is way before social media, probably before YouTube, mate, I think. Uh, yeah, before it was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna, you know, during the during the school of light, everyone watching is going to hear me refer to to light junkies a lot. And I, it was like kind of like post MySpace. Yes. and pre-Facebook and all that. So it was kind of a thing where people still, there wasn't a lot of like uh, sites for connecting or for networking Yeah, for social interaction. And then the, this popped up and it was a sort of a photo-based site that people used to interact. Yeah, and it was, the great thing about it is that 2008, are the very early, very heady days of light painting. You know, we all, I've, I've just shot an episode about the history of light painting. And yes, there were people you know, Eric Stahl and, you know, there were people light painting before this mm. time, but 2008, I think of as kind of the 2008, nine and into 10 is when it exploded. It was, yeah, yeah. it was wild days. And yeah, I'm going to challenge everyone watching this. I'm going to put a link below to the Flickr, to the, to the light junkies group. And if you're learning light painting, it is the, only place to go to really learn about where it all came from and i made a note trevor and, I, and, and tell me if i'm wrong here but yeah. every single thing that i do and i think every single bit of light painting that exists whether it's this stuff on the wall behind me which is uh -huh. you know the dna of all light painting can be found in the light junkies group easily yeah easily there is not a yeah. technique like you you know, yeah. we're going to have a look at the image. Well, this is the image breakdown. I'm going to pop the image up on the screen now. Um, so people watching this will be able to see it. We, we can't. Um, it's, it's, an, it's a beautiful image, and we'll talk about this. But one of the things I want to point out, and, and we've never discussed this, I don't think, Trevor, is that, you know, you were spinning orbs way before. Like, when I came into, when I discovered, <laughs> when I discovered Light Junkies, I'd only just bought my first camera. I was, uh, it, it, it changed my life. Uh, and I, I refer to you quite a bit that when you and I first met, I was a mess. I was, I'd, uh, I was, I was not in a good you know way. What, I spin orbs completely different than anybody else. It was just <laughs> weird. This is so weird because it seemed like the logical way for me. And then I found out everyone's just spinning it on a string. How, how did I miss that? <laughs> so, but you were. I gotta show you my rotator tool one day. Oh my and god, you, I'd love to see yeah, it. Yeah, because everything was based around sort of a lot of circles I used. Yeah. And it was just a rotator tool that I had. Yeah. And we, when I refer to, when I refer to uh, things, you know, when I always say to people, you've got to go and hang out on Light Junkies, skip Facebook for a day and just go hang yeah. out. There's 1,200 pages, I think. It would take you a day to scroll through them all. And look, some of it, when we look back now, we look at those early days of two that I, yeah. people look at it and go, Oh my God, what the fuck were they doing? They're yeah. Yeah. That shit. But I remember seeing stuff. Oh, I think it's like a tutorial, how to solder like lights yeah. together. <laughs> like, this is a, there's no, no memory. Like just, just two yeah. basic wires. Like this is how, well, um, how old it was. 
so Michael Dude. Ross, uh, uh, I, I've seen. Oh him, yeah, yeah, I've reached out to Michael Ross. So Michael Ross is this guy on. Um, uh, yeah. Th this is meant to be an image breakdown, but we should. This is fun. So Michael Ross designed the first yeah. pixel stick. Yeah, I felt that was. And he did this entire tutorial. It still exists. I saw it the other day on how yeah. to make a pixel stick and got dicked like so many of yeah. us do. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, hey, mate, look, uh, you know. He sent so me one. He sent me one just out of, out of pocket. He was wow. just such a stand-up guy. Yeah, lovely guy. I'm hoping that we connect for an image breakdown. Yeah, I've, I've, I've awesome. told there's, a, there's an image of his I love, which is beautiful. But mate you before we get into this image you know i just i i want to share with people and and say to you personally that that if it wasn't for oh. you and the the incredible community that that you didn't just start but but you nurtured that baby for a long <laughs> time and and i think you know anyone that's been painting for 10 years uh will will we will we all look back and we remember those days of mm. all the people we met the friends we made lifelong online friends yeah oh yeah for sure yeah and and you you were instrumental in uh saving my life you know light painting I, <laughs> I i gave up drinking and drugs because i because of something you created um wow. and, and and it saved my life it, it um wow. and and here we are 10 years later mate yeah. <laughs> and, and so let's let's have a chat about this image now you're a canadian you're a canadian living in japan and and this image is like talk to me a little bit about mm -hmm. Like when when was it made? Like it was it must have been okay, two thousand and eleven. So a lot of my work was based around like a very Japanese theme, uh, yeah. a lot of like temples and stuff. And I came here in two thousand and one. Yeah. And everyone sort of just took them for granted, and there was just a big deal. But I I was they were just a mind blowing. They were like mm. you know thousands of years old you know, just crazy. And I just thought maybe if I could show the, uh, show them to them in a different way, uh, that they would maybe appreciate them or something. So it kind of started there. And you, looking at this photograph, it, like it really, again, it's one of those things. We look at it now in 2020, it's like, whatever, it's a dome of light. Yeah. But this, this place was crazy to get even uh, permission because it, it houses, I think, up to, I think around 80 national treasures wow. in some of the buildings there. So I had to get like really special permission. There was like two yeah. security guards that were with us the whole time wow. to make sure nothing was damaged or, or removed or so it was a, it was in terms of pre-production. It was a, quite a bit. Yeah. And work. talk to me about the, the, the idea, what the idea of this dome. It, it... So, yeah, we just had a, and I, that was the first dome I ever did. So just, had, I think I had an idea for a tool. I'd done other domes where I just had a piece of string and I was sitting in it, but I just wanted to make it much, much bigger. Yeah. So we had a little character, a little bird stencil that we put in a lot of our pictures. Yeah. So the idea was to make him a sort of a, a nest like type of yeah. ah, thing. Wicked. And we had orange lights. The temple was orange. So to get an orange sky, I turned up the the Kelvin to like 10,000, I think. Yeah. And then, so this was made using an extendable laundry pool. I think it's unique <laughs> to Japan. We have these laundry poles that are about two meters. Yeah. And then they extend a meter. You can unscrew each end and it extends a meter out each side. So you're left with a four meter pole. Yeah, awesome. So, so I took a big sheet of cardboard, taped, taped it loosely to that cardboard with a, like a lot of tape. So it's, it, the pole came down and tape going in all directions. And if I s sat on that cardboard, the <laughs> center would never move and I could go in any direction. And, and the key was that it had to, if here, Here's the, here's the pole. The light had to be at an angle like uh, this. So yes. when it's away from the camera, you'll see it sticking up, right? Yeah. And then when it's in front of the camera, it's still visible. Yeah. So that was the point that it had to be at like a 45 to the, to the pole, and then it would be visible literally from any direction. So how big is, how, 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 what's the radius of this dome? 
About eight meters. No. Way. Oh, so four, sorry. The diameter diameter is eight so meters. The radius is four meters. Yeah. It's huge. So it, it takes quite a bit of time just to cover that yeah, area. Yeah. Oh my god. Because if you were to stretch that line out, it's a really long line. That is crazy, man. <laughs> That's so big. And yeah. So, so the um, and it looks like EL wire. No. Oh, looks so there was some uh, a little bit around the edge, I believe, on the ground up, which is very faint because. And we what had is to that? Down. So it was just a flashlight with a clear film canister on it wow. on the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I have a fig I have a picture of that on Flickr somewhere. That, we'll track that down and we'll have a look at it because it's a, I had a flashlight and a film canister just they fit perfectly on it. Yeah, wicked. And I think I have that. You know, they're not perfectly clear. They're kind of like a foggy white. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. the ones. I know the ones. And then the bird which appears in like you say, the the bird appears in a massive amount of your yeah. work. It's like a little signature. Um, yeah, exactly what it was. Is that a, is that a, um, it's a stencil, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And they were printed, it was a printed a stencil, not a cutout. Yeah. yeah. When you, when you, um, you know, for those, for those people that, that, that are kind of reasonably new to light painting, back in the day, in the early days of Flickr, it, 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 it was a similar community than it is now. It was very, People were very kind and, and sharing and mm. loving, but there was this one thing that would come up and there was some hell of scraps about straight <laughs> out of camera, right? So it was like, <laughs> yeah. you're not a light painter if it's not straight out of camera, but you know. I think it's it, a, just such a ridiculous argument. Well, it's, it's foolish, but we yeah. have this, so, so there's you always- tell your client? It's, here's your here's the work I did for you, but I I, I didn't touch it after yeah. I took it. <laughs> well, that's it, and and but but it's it's um like we're talking in two thousand and eight, right? And I'm yeah. looking at this image, and it looks crisp as there's and 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 it yeah you know, I, I I think what people forget, and and I you know when when if you look back into the early days of light junkies and talk to people who have been around for a while. We were making images with some pretty basic cameras, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't have to have a ten thousand dollars. And all the tools were just really simple. Like yeah. there was no microcontrollers or anything like that. There was just it was a battery and an LED on with a wire or something. Yeah, it, 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 amazing. And and your work, you know, pe people. I'm going to link to a whole lot of your work, but it it just truly experimental and experimenting all the time. I think, you know, for me, my first, right up until maybe, oh my God, the first five years of my light painting, I literally mm. did nothing apart from spin orbs. You know, I made that my thing, mm. but mm -hmm. there, there were, there were people like yourself, Trevor, who, who were just, just pushing all boundaries. Like try this, try that, try this, you yeah. know, make a thing out of a thing. And, and, uh, and, and I really, I really used to, um, I, I, I used to, and, and to a degree, I kind of still envy that, that, because I never, <laughs> I never, I didn't get that till late, like I do now, but, um, it's so more like ADHD, just, <laughs> just to scatter my <laughs> lactic concentration. That's it. So, mate, look, when we, when I look at this image, um, people are going to be looking at it on the screen now. Mm. It, if you were to give a piece of advice to someone that wanted to, because for me, when I look at this, when I look at this photograph, there's some things that, that, that immediately jump out at me personally. Right. And mm -hmm. the first one, the first one is that, uh, the, the, is I know how old this image is. I know when it was made mm -hmm. and that changes things because if I saw a photograph, someone posted on Instagram tomorrow with a dome in it, I'd go, whatever it's a dome like but yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know i know where this came from now to know how immense it is has blown my mind because <laughs> yeah it's deceptive um but it's outside and it's big because that is yeah hard. yeah it's outside yeah. people I people think we, i think we were only given two hours there yeah wow and i left i think with five keepers yeah and we were like banging them out like Normally we do it again, do it again and do it again, but we just were under so much pressure to nail it. Yeah. Nail it and do the next one. So it was such a, 
a really productive shoot there. Trevor, I'm a imagine imagine I'm watching this and I'm a person who's just discovered light painting and mm. I want to. Um, I've now seen a bit of your work. I've gone and had a look at what you've done. I mean, what advice? What what's the right. what advice, man, to someone that wants to make stuff like this? I would say try it. And the best skill you can have is is just patience and just problem solve. Yeah. We would have an idea and then we just sort of work backwards. Okay, well, how do we make the thing move in, in the way we need it to? Yeah. So it worked with the everything. It was about how to make that light move. We all sucked at drawing. We all sucked at writing. So we had these ways of doing it. We just solved the problem by manufacturing a stick taped to cardboard. You know what I mean? That that solved the problem of my crappy drawing. Yeah. So have a go, eh? Hey? That's the one. Like I, yeah. I I'm I'm I make a living from manufacturing and, and selling and exporting light painting tools, but I'm always a massive, massive advocate that you go buy a ten dollar torch from a hardware shop and a bit yeah. of cellophane and a bit of clip whatever. It's yeah. part. It's it's part of you know when we when I think about the older days and I and I keep referring to this talking yeah. to you because we were there. There was no other choice. You know, it wasn't. It was yeah, a had, long yeah. time before. You know, Jason Page would have been the first person to be seriously yeah. selling tools. It was a long time yeah. before he was doing that, and we just you made what you made. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's where it's where it kind of comes from. You know. You'd look for anything and you'd go into any store, you'd first check out the lights, then you'd look out what yeah. kind of cell phone or clear <laughs> things they had or all sorts of, there was a way to, there was yeah, a pattern every time you walked you into a shop. To, if light came out of it and it was kind of colorful, you yeah, did yeah. something with it. Mate, we're going to kick on. I, um, Look, I, 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 I'm going to stress to people and I'm going to, there'll be all sorts of links and bits and pieces, but mm -hmm. Um, your photography, your, your, your general photography is, is, I always enjoy it when it pops up on my feed. I, think. Ah, thanks. I don't post yeah. much because yeah. a lot of it's just commercial work and totally, I have a totally. belief that it's the customer's work and not, I shouldn't really. No, I agree. I'm with you hundred yeah. percent on that. So we're going to, um, people will get to see that I'm, um, but I'm going to, uh, if you're watching this, you need to go and have a look at Light Junkies. I'm going to link to some older pages and some newer pages. Go through um, the forum. That'll be really Oh, the forums are a hoot. <laughs> I was looking at those yesterday. Oh, my God. There were some hilarious conversations oh, yeah. going on there. There yeah, were some yeah. shit stirrers, eh? Hey? Oh, my oh God. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it, yeah, you can see when certain... Yeah, the bickering started a bit later. The, be yeah. the beginning was not much bickering in the beginning. No, 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 no. But, it was always... Um, that's not light painting or that is light yeah, painting yeah. or it's like, oh yeah, yeah. man, it makes it, yeah, it was beautiful. So mate, um, yeah, look, we're, we're going to, we're going to chat again uh, uh, yeah, over, cool. over, over the next little while, but I just want to say a huge thank you. I feel, I feel uh, in the world, in the history of light painting, um, you, uh, I know you're a very humble man, but in the history of light <laughs> painting, you, for me personally, I know for a lot of people, uh, Gunnar, I was just talking to him. He said to say hi. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, you you nurtured us. You created the playground for us to grow and learn. I'm getting literally getting goosebumps. <laughs> you you created this and nurtured this playground for us all to to learn and explore. And 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 I thank you so much for that from the whole community. Well, um, yeah, it's the whole community, you know. Yeah, it, it was. was yeah. And I and I really appreciate you spending time with me today, mate. But what a, what a catalyst that place has oh, turned out to be! <laughs> it's astonishing, astonishing. The yeah. world that has exploded from it. Yeah, no kidding. Eh? Thank you, Trevor. Cool. I Great to catch up. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.